Hi everyone, this is Rhonda from Mumbaka Design. Today I'm going to show you how to make my new angel pattern. Her name is Love, and she is crocheted with Red Heart Super Saver yarn and a 4mm G hook. To begin, you need to make a double magic ring, or you can make a chain 3 and slip stitch to join to make a loop. Now work six single crochets into your magic ring or your loop. Once you've completed your six single crochet stitches, you can close your ring. When you pull on the yarn end, you'll see which end of the loop moves. Pull the opposite end of that first loop. It will close the first ring. And now pull the yarn tail and it will close the remainder of the ring. You will need a stitch marker to mark your place while you're working this project. If you don't have a locking stitch marker, you can use a safety pin or a paper clip or even a piece of yarn. Work two single crochet stitches in each stitch around. Place your stitch marker in the first stitch that you work to mark your place and then continue around the ring. At the end of round two, you will have 12 single crochet stitches. For round three, work two single crochet stitches in the first stitch. One single crochet stitch in the next stitch. And then we're going to repeat that all the way around. So working two single crochets in the next stitch and one single crochet in the next stitch. Two in the next stitch, then one in the next stitch. At the end of round three, you will have 18 single crochet stitches. For round four, five, and six, we're working one single crochet stitch in every stitch around. At the end of round four, five, and six, you will have 18 single crochet stitches. For round seven, we're going to be doing a decrease to shape her head. Now when I'm working my single crochet two together stitch, I work under the front loop only of my stitches. This makes them less noticeable and less bulky for the project. Insert your hook under the front loop of the first stitch and then swing it around to insert it under the front loop of the second stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop, pulling through both of those front loops. Yarn over and pull through the remaining two loops on your hook to finish the stitch. Remember to place your stitch marker in that first stitch. Work one single crochet stitch in the next stitch. And then work another single crochet two together under the front loops only over the next two stitches. And one single crochet in the next stitch. We repeat this all the way around working our single crochet two togethers under the front loops only, and then one single crochet in the stitch that follows them. At the end of round seven, you will have 12 single crochet stitches. At the end of round seven, I recommend that you stuff the head with polyfill. I usually use about one handful
Don't overstuff it though, because if you overstuff it, you'll really see the spaces between the stitches that you've worked. For round eight, we're going to work single crochet two together stitches all the way around. So we do work these under the front loops only, just like we did in round seven. So you insert your hook under the front loop of each of the next two stitches, yarn over, pull up a loop, pulling through both the front loops, yarn over, and pull through the remaining two loops on your hook. Work single crochet two togethers all the way around, and after you finish this round, you will have six single crochet stitches. For round nine, work one front post single crochet in each stitch around. So you slide your hook around the post of the stitch from the front to the back and then back to the front to complete that. At the end of round nine, you will have six front post single crochet stitches. For round 10, work one single crochet and one front post single crochet in each stitch around. This means you're going to be working two stitches in each stitch. So work your single crochet stitch and remember that the loops of your stitch that you're looking at go to the right of the post. So if you're looking at the stitch, if you're right-handed, you'll see the two loops of this stitch, the little V at the top of this stitch, will fall to the right of the post of the stitch. If you're working on this from the left-hand side, you will see the post to the right of the stitch. So you will see the two loops on the left-hand side, and then you will see the post. For the right-hand side version, Work your one single crochet and one front post single crochet in each stitch around. At the end of round 10, you will have six single crochet stitches and six front post single crochet stitches. For round 11, work one single crochet in the first stitch. two single crochets in the next stitch, one single crochet in each of the next five stitches, two single crochets in the next stitch, and one single crochet stitch in each of the next four stitches. At the end of round 11, you will have 14 single crochet stitches. For round 12, Work one single crochet in the first stitch, chain three. Those chain three spaces are going to be the armholes where we're going to slip the arm through in her dress. Skip the next two stitches. Work one single crochet in each of the next five stitches. Chain three, skip the next two stitches. 
Work one single crochet in each of the next four stitches. At the end of round 12, you will have 10 single crochet stitches and two chain three spaces. For round 13, work one single crochet in the first stitch. One single crochet in the back loop of each of the next three chains. Work one single crochet in each of the next five stitches. One single crochet in the back loop of each of the next three chains. And one single crochet in each of the next four stitches. At the end of round 13, you will have 16 single crochet stitches. For round 14, work two single crochet stitches in the next stitch. and one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. You're gonna repeat that all the way around until you have four stitches remaining. So working two single crochets in the first stitch and then one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. When you have four stitches remaining, Work two single crochets in the next stitch, one single crochet in each of the next two stitches, and two single crochets in the last stitch. At the end of round 14, you'll have 21 single crochet stitches. For round 15, work one single crochet and two double crochets in the first stitch. Skip two stitches, and then we're going to repeat this, working one single crochet and two double crochets in the next stitch, and then skipping the next two stitches. So every stitch that we are working contains three stitches, one single crochet and two double crochets. And between each set of those three stitches, you have two stitches that you don't work into. So repeat this, working one single crochet and two double crochets in the next stitch, skipping the next two stitches, and then one single crochet and two double crochets in the next stitch. Work this all the way around. At the end of round 15, you will have seven single crochet stitches and 14 double crochet stitches. For round 16, work one single crochet in the next stitch. Chain three, and now skip the next two double crochet stitches. We're gonna work this all the way around. We're working one single crochet in the single crochet stitch chaining three, and then skipping the next two double crochet stitches. Crochet this all the way around. At the end of round 16, you will have seven single crochet stitches and seven chain three spaces. For round 17, work one single crochet and three double crochets in the first stitch. That'll be your single crochet stitch that you're working those into. Skip the chain three space, and then in the next single crochet work one single crochet stitch and three double crochet stitches.
Repeat this all the way around, skip the next chain three space, and work one single crochet and three double crochets in the next stitch, which will always be the single crochet stitch that you're working into. At the end of round 17, you will have seven single crochet stitches and 21 double crochet stitches. For round 18, work one single crochet in the next stitch, chain four, and skip the next three double crochet stitches. We'll repeat that, working one single crochet in the next stitch, then chain four, skip the next three double crochet stitches, repeat this all the way around. At the end of round 18, you will have seven single crochet stitches and seven chain four spaces. For round 19, you're going to work one single crochet and four double crochet stitches in the first stitch. You're going to skip the next chain four space and in the next single crochet work one single crochet stitch and four double crochet stitches. Repeat this all the way around, skip the next chain four space, work one single crochet and four double crochets in the next stitch. At the end of round 19, you will have seven single crochet stitches and 28 double crochet stitches. For round 20, work one single crochet in the next stitch, then chain five, skip the next four double crochet stitches and we'll repeat that work one single crochet in the next stitch chain five and skip the next four double crochet stitches repeat this all the way around at the end of round 20 you will have seven single crochet stitches and eight chain five spaces For round 21, work one single crochet and five double crochets in the first stitch. Skip the next chain five space work one single crochet and five double crochets in the next stitch, which will be the single crochet stitch. Repeat this all the way around, skipping the next chain five space and then working one single crochet and five double crochets in the next stitch. At the end of round 21, you will have seven single crochet stitches and 35 double crochet stitches. For round 22, we're going to begin with a slip stitch in the first stitch, so slip stitch in that first single crochet, chain four, and skip the next five double crochets. We're wanting this chain four to slide behind the bottom of the skirt. It's just giving it a little bit more support around the bottom edge so that she stands up nicely. Okay, so then we're going to repeat that, slip stitch into the next single crochet stitch, chain four, and skip the next five double crochets. Repeat this all the way around, and then slip stitch to the first slip stitch of the round to join. So finish off, and you can weave in your end now, or you can leave it to the end and weave your ends in all at once together. Next we're going to make the arm. We're only making one because we insert this through the bodice of the dress. That's why it's so long so that it goes on both sides of the body. It's just a little bit easier to do that than to assemble two small arms onto her body. So the arm is going to be created all in one piece. It's worked back and forth in rows 
and then we're going to seam the one edge together using a slip stitch seam. It's a little bit finicky because it's so narrow when you're working on it, so just try your best. If you can't work under both loops when you're doing the slip stitch seam, work under one loop of each of the edges only. It makes it a little bit easier. So for row one, chain 21, Now begin in the second chain from your hook, so skip one chain and work one single crochet stitch in each of the chains across. Chain one and turn your work. You'll have 20 single crochet stitches. For row two and row three, we are going to work one single crochet in each stitch across for a total of 20 single crochet stitches. At the end of row three, we're going to fold the rectangle in half along row two, and then seam the long edges together using a slip stitch seam. Once you're done, you finish off and you can weave in the ends on both ends of the arm and it's ready to place inside the dress. Next, we're going to make the wings. To make the wings, we begin using our yarn and our hook, the same one we've used for the whole project, and make a double magic ring chain three. This is going to count as one double crochet and then work two double crochets chain two and work two more double crochets Tighten the ring to close the work, and then turn your work. At the end of row one, you will have five double crochets and one chain two space. For row two, chain four, this is going to count as one treble crochet or triple crochet stitch, and work two more treble crochets in the first stitch. Work two double crochets in the next stitch. Three half double crochets in the chain two space. one half double crochet in the next stitch one slip stitch in each of the next two stitches chain one and turn your work 
At the end of row two, you have three treble crochets, two double crochets, four half double crochet stitches, and two slip stitches. For row three, we're going to skip that first slip stitch and then work one single crochet in each of the next five stitches. Work one half double crochet in the next stitch, one double crochet in each of the next two stitches, and two treble crochets in the next stitch. And in the next stitch, work two treble crochets and one double treble crochet. At the end of row three, you have one double treble crochet, two treble crochets, two double crochets, one half double crochet, and five single crochet stitches. Chain one and turn your work. For row four, Work one slip stitch in each of the stitches across and then around that row edge back to the double magic ring. So we're going to make it look neat right up to where the ring closed. It'll take about 15 slip stitches to get back to that spot. You may have a few less or a few more depending on how many slip stitches you work in that back row edge section. Leave a little bit of a yarn tail here so that you can assemble the angel's wings to her dress. You can sew the shorter end in and weave in your ends for the first bit. Now make a second wing. Next we're going to make the halo. The halo that I make, I use Bodabra bow wire and I use a 2.25 millimeter hook. That's a B hook. Create a slip knot and place your hook into the loop. Tighten the loop to close it. And then we're just going to chain 20 stitches. So chain 20 stitches. I don't pull to tighten after each chain. I just let them stay the same size as the hook. After you've chained your 20 stitches, you're going to finish off to create the halo loop. You will thread that through the seventh chain from the opposite end, so from the beginning of your chain row. And now I just take that end and I wrap it around the rest of the chain to make it a little more sturdy, trim up the ends, and thread it through the back of her head to make the halo. I have had some questions about how I make the halo stick in place. You can tack it into place if you'd like with a tiny bit of white thread sewn through the back of her, her head at the back where the halo goes in. Or add a little bit of fabric glue to the end after it's been thread through her head and then gently pull it back inside and then push the fabric of the head together to catch on that little tiny bit of glue. And that way it'll be on the inside and won't leave a big sticky hard spot on the back of your project. I like to weave in the one end first for each wing so I only have one end of yarn remaining for assembly. You can sew the wings on separately or you can sew them together first and sew them as one piece. And then for assembly, we work it by placing the wings mid-back. I only attach them at the top because we want the bottom of the wing to hang freely. You can put them a little bit further apart. You can put them touching. It's totally up to you. 
For the arm, if you'd like to tack it in place on the inside, you can flip her skirt up and then use a yarn end to weave a little bit of white thread on the inside to hold the arm in position. I personally just slide mine through and leave it the way it is. It helps support the dress so that it stays open at that point and I've never had the arms come out before. But if you're giving it to a child, I'm sure you would like to tack that in place. I hope that you've enjoyed watching this tutorial to make your love angel and I look forward to bringing you more patterns and tutorials this coming year. Have a great day and please if you have time subscribe to my YouTube channel and click like on this video for me. Thank you very much.